Hi everyone. So I don't know if this is something that happens to you, but I have this thing where I think something is going to take me like 20 minutes and it ends up taking me two hours. <laughs> and it happens with math. Today it happened with uh, organizing books. I started organizing my math books and I thought it would take me like 20 minutes and then I could eat breakfast. No, it took me four hours, four hours. And I only organized um, mostly my new ones. Most of my new ones I've organized. Not all, there's a couple left, but there's a good amount there. And a couple old ones, but I have many more old ones to organize, including these. These books uh, were written by an MIT math boss, right, MIT math boss. And let me show you his picture. I actually have his picture here. I think that'd be really cool if I can show you that. Oh, by the way, um, the books I organized, if you're curious, in the description of the video, there's categories and you can click on the category and you can see the books. That's pretty cool. And, it's, and I realized after organizing them that <laughs> I can add more books to the list. So that's even better. So I'm going to be adding books as much as I can. So here's, here's the man right here. Here's the MIT math boss. That's what an MIT math box looks like. So his name was Henry. His name was Henry. And he was the head of the math department at MIT. Yeah. H.B. Phillips, PhD. Let's take a look at some of these books. I know I have another book by H.B. Phillips. He's written quite a few books. So let's see what we have here. We have Integral Calculus. We have the combined differential and integral calculus. And then we have differential equations by Phillips. So these are books written by the head of the math department at MIT. He also wrote a book on geometry and a book on vector analysis and a book on analytical geometry and calculus. I bought the vector uh, analysis book. I know I have it. I can't find it. Um, I think maybe, I don't know. I don't know where it is. I have to find it. So, so I got to find that book. It's lost in the insane amount of books that I have. <laughs> it's just, it's completely crazy. It really, really is. It's just out of control. Um, let's take a look at these. Let's start, let's start with the integral calculus book. Let's start with that one. So this book here uh, contains both integral and differential. I think you, you can get the differential calculus separately as well. I don't, I don't own that. I just own the integral calculus separately and then the combined version. So yeah, it's kind of cool. These books are pretty rare. Um, they're a little bit expensive. Integral Calculus by H.B. Phillips, PhD, assistant professor of mathematics in the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, first edition, right? Cool. What a cool book. This is awesome. Wow. 1917. I got to smell it. I'm sorry. I just got to take a whiff. Just Oh, oh, it's amazing. 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 This is so good. This is so good. Integration. Yeah. Formula and methods of integration. I love how clean these, these books are. Oh, oh, well, before I forget, let me just tell you this. These books, these books are free. That's right. You can get these books for free. I'm pretty sure. I think they're like in the public domain or, or something, because if you go online and search for them, I think they show up on like Google Books or something. Like they are, I'm pretty sure you can get these. I'm, I'm pretty sure these are so old that the copyright has expired on these books, right? So I love public domain stuff. That's like the best. It's gold, really, really is. I love the public domain. It's a great thing because it's free for everyone. I think that's cool. Look at these problems. Yeah, so that one there, you can um, use a formula to do that, right? That's going to give you an arctan. What do we got here? We have differential and integral calculus by Phillips. Cool, right? Let's see what topics are here. Check out the topics. Introduction, derivative and differential, differentiation of algebraic functions, rates, maximum and minima, differentiation of transcendental functions. Geometrical applications, velocity and acceleration, okay. Rawls theorem and indeterminate forms, theories and approximations, partial differentiation, supplementary exercises, answers. Let's look at the answers, 154 to 160. Let's look at the answers. 
Answers to exercises. Yeah, boom. They're there, right? All of them. Oh, the quality. The quality. Wow. Wow. This is nice. Oh, I wish you could just feel it with me. I, I gotta give it a whiff. Just... Ugh. Oh. Math books. The perfect collectibles, right? I just love collecting these. University of Toronto Engineering Society Supply Department. Hmm. Cool. Really nice. And then the second half of the book, let's just, let me just show you the second half. Because this is two books, so it's the... Oh, I see. Okay, so let's go to the end. I think the contents for the other book actually starts... You know, when the other book starts, I think. So here's the exercises. But look at that. See how there's a blank page there. How interesting, right? Like they literally just combine the books. There's the index. So this this piece here, this whole thing here is is differential calculus. I'm pretty sure. I don't own it. But this the first half of this book is his differential calculus book. How interesting, right? And then he has a, there's a page here. Another page. Interesting. And then, oh, here he talks about his other books. There you can see them. Cool. Yeah. Nice. And then the condition of this book. Wow. Really thick, nice, glossy pages. And we just saw this, right? We just saw this. This this is this should be exactly the same as this book here. Let's just double check. It should be exactly the same because it's the same book. So let's see. Integration formulas, methods of integration. Yeah, it's the same. Let me just put them side by side here so you can see. We can compare the table of contents. This is exciting. It's fun. Table of context, contents comparisons. Everything looks the same to me. Yeah, it looks the same. I think it, I think it looks the same. I mean, can you see a difference? I I don't see I don't see a difference. I think it's it's spot on. Cool, right? Awesome. So those are the two books there, Differential and Integral Calculus and Integral Calculus. And then the other book I have, well, I also have the Vector Analysis book, but I don't know where that is. Um, something happened to it. I don't know what. I feel like it's been lost. Differential Equations, Phillips, third edition. I mean, I have a lot of books, so it's probably here. I just need to look harder. Books by H.B. Phillips, Ph.D. Differential equations. I've done a lot of the problems uh, from this book, actually. So, copyright 1922, 1925, 1934. This is the 12th printing. I mean, this, this survived a long time. H.B. Phillips. Uh, MIT math boss. This is cool. First, with differential equations of the first order with variables separable. All those topics. Interesting. Flow of water from an orifice. Wow. That's not something you see. Like you know, I've I've never seen. <laughs> I've never seen a, a a section titled that. Like whoa. What is that? Interesting. Equations of higher degree. Range of variables. Simultaneous equations. We've got general theory. Special second order equations. Huh. Let's turn the page. Homogeneous equations, deflection of beams, all kinds of stuff here, right? Rotation about a fixed axis, vibrating systems, the last one there. <laughs> I like 40, equation with right-hand member zero, yeah. We call those uh, homogeneous equations now, right? So that's, that's what this is about. It's uh, linear equations with constant coefficients, so it's really easy. Actually, it's not, it's not that hard. It really isn't. There's a lot of stuff you do in like a calculus class that's that's harder than that. Stuff. So it's pretty easy. Some stuff is a little harder, but nice book. It's got some examples. I've done this problem. I've worked this out. Look at these. People have been doing these. That might have been me. I don't know. I don't know. That might have been me. I hope not. That I would write in such a beautiful book. This is this is pretty hard to get. Um yeah, someone else wrote there. I don't think it was me. That's not me. So you could use you could use this book to learn differential equations. It has it has answers too. I'll show you. This one does have answers. I've used this one a lot. Um, but it has answers to 
I feel like I saw some that were missing in some of this in one of the sections. Like there was one or two that were missing, and, and like most are there, but I don't recall which ones they were. So, but yeah, I'm pretty sure like it's all of them, but there might be a case or two where like there was like an oddball problem where you had to like show something was true. Because notice these aren't solutions, right? So if it's a type of question where he can't write an answer, then he might just say, eh, and just not throw it in there. And I, I think he did that with uh, some of the problems, but I don't recall which ones. But yeah, really cool books. Um, great for self-study because they're clean. They have clean explanations. They're short. They're small. Um, you know, they have examples. Some things might seem terse, but they all, they, these, all three of these books have answers to every single problem pretty much. So that's awesome. That's really awesome. And I'm pretty sure his uh, other book that I know I have uh, on vector analysis also has answers. I should find it, check it out. But anyways, I just thought I would uh, make this video to show you some books from an MIT math boss. Pretty cool, his name was Henry Bayard Phillips, right? That was his name. Yeah, he was actually born in 1881. 1881 he was born. I finally found some information on the internet about him. Um, I had to go to the internet and um, I looked on some, I think it was a German Wikipedia site. And that's where I was able to find the information about him. I had to translate the page. So um, interesting. I don't think it's, I don't think information on him is available in the English Wikipedia site. At least not yet. At least not yet. I should add him to Wikipedia. I don't know how to do that, but I guess you can add people to Wikipedia. I've never done that. <laughs> so yeah, 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 good stuff. Anyways, I just thought I would show you some books and um, until next time, good luck and take care.